Mark, Phoenix CNC, you've got two products now. Just tell me quickly about them, please. Uh, Mazacam we've been selling for two years now. We're doing a special offer at the show before during the show. Um, we're going to sell it for 2999. That will give you the ability to program offline, convert between all your Mazatrol controls, both milling, turning and mill turn machines. Alan, Cambridge Numerical Control, what are you showcasing here at Mac? Yep, we're uh, showcasing our MDC software, which is machine tool monitoring. So it'll tell you when the machine is running, when it's in cycle, out of cycle. Also gives you reason codes as to why the machine is not running. Um, so you can actually be, it helps you be more efficient, basically. Magnus, Nederman Filtration Systems. Can you tell me a little bit about your products, please? Yeah, what we do is that we clean the air from machine tools. Uh, that is created, um, the machine tools create uh, oil mist and uh, emulsion mist. And uh, we clean it in filters so it's a clean and safe uh, environment for the workers. Hiya, Amber here for MTD at Mac 2018. Um, not many women in engineering, but I've managed to track one down here on the Jaguar Land Rover stand. Um, what was it that first attracted you to get into the world of engineering? Well, it was kind of a gamble, really. I just applied on like a, I want to see what engineering's like kind of thing. So I did a scheme called Young Women in the Know, and it gave us an insight into what ja Jaguar Land Rover engineering was like. And it kind of took me by fancy, passed some tests, and then applied for the apprenticeship and ended up getting it. But I actually really, really enjoy it now. Yeah. Yeah. Charlotte, you're with Siemens, but you're going to tell me about STEM. I am. It's science, technology, engineering and maths, and we're trying to excite three to 17 year olds to join the field. Okay. Fantastic. Getting engineers, well, guys into engineering is what we need at the moment. So how are you doing that? So we've got uh, robot controlled buggies. So we've got little controllers here so the kids can come and try them out um, or they can code them themselves on our laptops and drive them around on our track. You have brought the latest technology to Mac 2018. Tell everyone about the Bloodhound. Bloodhound, we are at the, at the top end of engineering. We have literally had to reinvent the wheel in order to drive this car. Our wheels will be spinning around about 180 times every second. The data that we're going to collect off this car every time it runs is going to be about twice as much as a Formula One car and we're going to be streaming that out live to schools and colleges all across the world. Now I'm here with James. James, what are you showcasing here at the show? Um, so we are uh, Metrology UK and we are introducing um, the Universal CMM. That is the platform for allowing um, any measurement digital device to go through a single platform that is CMMs, me uh, measurement arms, laser trackers, uh, laser scanning technology and we're able to integrate it into SBC systems cloud-based to introduce the industry 4.0 to the manufacturing markets. Hope you can see me back there because the machine is huge so we had to try and get that in camera. Alessio, tell me quickly about it. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, so we are here to, to show you the, our uh, machine, the water jet cutting system. This technology now is growing up in the market because uh, with one tool you can cut uh, any kind of material like uh, metal, brass, uh, I don't know, stone, what you want. Glass, uh, metal, wood? Yes, absolutely. In canals? Yes, also. Pneumonic? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, you can do. Matt, if you yeah. want, yes. If you want, you can do it. Hi, Amber here from MTD at Mac 2018. I'm here with Kelvin from LNS. So, what are you showcasing here at the show this We're year? Showcasing for the first time our new uh, conveyor, the SF50. It's a conversion from the drum filtration conveyors, which the market has asked for. So, we've been to R&D, developed making a smaller footprint, but giving the customer what they want from their expectations. Nice and neat. Stuart, new machine at the show, tell me about it quickly. Uh, first time showing in the UK, it's an Axile machine um, from Buffalo Machine Tool Company, full five axis machine, uh, very large, accurate, rigid machine tool, 1.3 tonnes available to put on the, on the table there. Jamie, I've not seen this before. Robot arm measuring, what's going on? Okay, so this is our fully automated uh, measuring cell. 
Uh, we're machining the components inside the robo drill. Uh, the robot arm is going to put them onto our measuring device and we're sending live offsets back to the machine tool to correct any process errors. First of all, looks like Swarper chips have been here. Now, Freddy products, we're at the Mac stand. Now, rather than have a great big suite of products on the stand, guess what they've gone and done? They've gone state of the art. The downside is we can't get Amber off it, their VR system, which has got their whole product range on the screen. Adrian, Anchor Stand, what's this machine behind you? Uh, this is the MX7 with RFID chip reading. What does that mean? Uh, it means that you can identify individual tools and scan it, and the machine will then just take it from there and grind everything, basically, that you load up to it. They've just let me loose on a coding, and I think Geo's got a new friend. Although he's a bit sportier.